everybody and welcome back. This is part two of my life update and I hope you guys are enjoying so far. Um, it has been quite a roller coaster over this last year and I've been so nervous to talk about all the stuff going on. I didn't want people to hate me or dislike my channel anymore just because of this change in my life. I really, when I started this channel, I had a real and deep passion for teaching and not that I don't still love kids and still want to change their lives, but I don't know, right now it's just, I'm taking a different path in life, the path less traveled maybe, or I don't know. And um, I'm exploring something different. So I'm going to start off where I ended on the last one, talking about the end of Valley Fair. So towards the, um, what was it? Towards the end of September, um, I got a, a message, I guess, from this contracting company. And so the cool thing about this, uh, let me back up a little bit. So I had gone through another contracting company and like before I got the job at Valley Fair to kind of put myself in a position where maybe if I couldn't get a job at Valley Fair, I'd at least have maybe some other options going forward. So I didn't really trust that one. I thought it was kind of slimy that they kind of manipulated you into applying and then showing up for the interview for the job and then they don't really ever talk about the job. So I didn't love that and whatever. So I get this message from this other company and I'm like, cool, let's see what's gonna happen. Well, the company ended up being the same one that um, part of their company does the substitute teaching that I went through. So I was like, oh cool, I'm already kind of familiar with this company, I've worked with them before, so they should be a, a good option to work with. So yeah, anyways, I kept kind of contacting them and getting information and I went ahead and kept working forward through the process with them. So the position that they had said to me was a position in HR and I was like, sweet! It was for $18 an hour, which was more than I was making as a sub, and I was like, that is awesome. I'm gonna try it because that seems like a good amount and you're telling me that I can possibly get a job in HR without, I guess, any experience or a degree in that area. So I was like, let's try it, see what happens. And I really liked that throughout the process, they were just focused on getting me this one job that I was interested in and applied for. They reached out to me with the position and throughout the whole journey, that's what it was about. And I truly, truly appreciated that. And it didn't feel slimy or weird or whatever. It was truly about getting me this position and I really loved that. So anyways, fast forward, um, one of the days I go to the interview and it was kind of funny because I had told people, hey, I have an interview at um, US Bank and I was like, ah, this is exciting and they were like, congratulations and I was like, yeah, thanks, but I didn't have to do anything to get it. I just kind of said I was interested. So <laughs> that was kind of a weird situation, but anyways, so I get there and um, I was really nervous, but I had kind of been practicing and I was all dressed up and everything like that. And I go through the interview, I felt like me and the lady were really, really vibing. She seemed to be very excited about all my answers and just, I don't know, there were so many things and so many indicators that I was like, okay. Finally, I got to an interview that I felt really, really good about for the first time in a long time. And so, yeah, um, I get through the interview, they asked me a bunch of uh, great questions, like, what's your dream job? And I was like, <laughs> um, I 
if you would have asked me a few years ago, I would have been able to tell you. And now, it, I don't know. It's it's changed, and I'm not sure what that dream job looks like anymore. So, whatever. So I went through the interview, and I left, and I called the recruiter lady or the um, contract company lady who was working with me, and I told her that I got done with the interview and blah blah blah. So we get off the phone, and she calls me back about five minutes later and is like, you got the job, woo! And I was so excited, but I was like, you know what, I better call Weston to see, um, you know, talk it out, see if this is a good option. I like to talk things out with him and just um, get another perspective on the situation. So. I talked to him and he's like, oh my gosh, that's awesome, you should accept it, this is great. So I go ahead and I accepted it and oh my gosh, it was a really great decision. Now I will tell you, I did not know at the beginning that it was a call center. I kind of found that out during the interview, which I was like, oh god, do I want to work at a call center? <laughs> um, but it was still in HR and for a really big and great company. And so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And so I have now been working there for two and a half months, almost two and a half months. And honestly, it's been really good. They spent a really long time training me and they have honestly been encouraging me every step of the way People really work together there and they are so supportive and like positive. You know, every job there's a reason to complain and yeah, they complain sometimes, but like for the most part, people are very, very positive and it's, it's about climbing the ladder there and working your way up and I don't know, people just, they want the best for you there and they are willing to help you and support you and I've really, really appreciated that. And it's nice to be a part of something that like, you can continue to grow. I feel like in teaching, like, you can grow, but it's, it's, <laughs> I don't know, like it's more vertical. It's not so much like I'm going up in the ranks, like you're always going to be at that teacher level you know, you obviously you can get tenured and get a master's degree or whatever, but like you're kind of always here and it's cool to be a part of something that I can eventually be here. So yeah, I, I'm just kind of going through that. Um, I just really started the job about two weeks ago. So everything up to that has been training, which is really cool. And yeah, um, I just had a one-on-one -on -one recently with my boss and she told me that positions are on hold right now so when my contract is up they are going to extend it but they're hoping that as soon as possible I can apply and hopefully get a full-time position. So that is where I'm at right now. Um, my contract is being extended which kind of sucks because with my wedding coming up, I need some days of vacation. Um, but we'll have to see how that all goes. And it's been going well. I've learned so much and I'm just excited about it. It's a different change. And, you know, I mean, we'll have to see what happens. I don't know, like things may change. They, I may go back to teaching. I may stay here for a really long time, forever. I don't know. But this is where I'm at right now, so I just wanted to share that with you guys, and I know this video is very long, and I'm so sorry, and thank you if you've made it to the end, but I just wanted to share that with you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and go, and that was my story of me working in HR for a great company like US Bank, even though I am a contract worker right now, hopefully... Um, in a few months, I will be a full-time worker in that position and um, start working my way into other areas of the company and find something that I truly love. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.